Have you ever wondered what midlife was going to be like and found yourself thinking about it as the beginning of the end? That's not uncommon. The reality is though, that could not be further from the truth. Our midlife years are just as vibrant and transformative as our younger years, maybe even more so. This stage of life is not a pause, but rather it's a fertile garden, ripe with opportunities for growth and renewal. My name is Chris, and I'm a midlife post-career Gen Xer. Whether you're about to enter this part of life or are already here, I'd love for you to join me in exploring and navigating through reinvention and building a life we really love. If you find you like it here, hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get to it. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight When we start a garden, we often start with choosing what to plant. Just like choosing the right seeds, personal growth, and curating a life you are going to love starts with dreaming and setting intentions and goals. These seeds represent our dreams and aspirations. They may be small at first, but they hold the potential for something beautiful and delicious. The next step is like preparing the soil. Creating a supportive environment for your goals and dreams to come true is key. In gardening, soil needs to be fertile and free of weeds. For our personal growth, this means nurturing a positive mindset and removing any negative influences or self-doubt. A well-prepared mental and emotional space allows our seeds to take root and grow. And this part isn't a one and done. We need to weed our gardens regularly and fertilize the soil when needed to keep us on a path to healthy harvest. As our seeds start to sprout, we witness the early stages of growth. These tiny sprouts are like our initial efforts and progress towards our goals. It's a delicate phase where every small achievement matters. Just as seedlings need sunlight and water, we often need encouragement and support from those around us and from ourselves. And sometimes we need to thin out what's growing, letting go of what isn't working so well, so that what is growing well has more room to thrive. Just as plants need constant watering and sun, we need to continually feed ourselves with the energy sources that are going to nurture us and bring us closer to our goals and dreams. Regular self-care, learning new skills, and seeking growth opportunities are essential. Periodic pruning is also so important to a healthy garden. Removing dead or overgrown parts of a plant to encourage healthy growth is like evaluating and adjusting our own paths. Sometimes we need to let go of old habits or beliefs that no longer serve us. It's about making space for new possibilities and growth. With time, patience, and care, our garden will reach a stage of flourishing. This is where we see the fruits of our labor, just as we experience the rewards of our personal efforts. The vibrant flowers and ripe vegetables are the tangible results of our dedication and growth. Personal growth, like gardening, is a continuous journey. It involves patience, persistence, and a lot of care. Remember that every stage, whether it's planting seeds, preparing the soil, or pruning, plays a crucial role in the overall process and outcomes. Embrace each phase as an opportunity for transformation. So whether you're tending to a garden or nurturing your personal growth, know that every step you make is helping you blossom into your fullest self. Celebrate the small victories, enjoy the process, and keep nurturing your journey. Thank you for joining me today. 
I hope this inspires you to cultivate your own personal growth with the same care and dedication you would a beautiful garden. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, may your garden and your life be full of growth and beauty.